How's it going guys? My name is Zach with the Movie Castle and today we're going to be checking out this fun little board game, well not board game, uh, a game that I found at the Dollar Tree, the Balance Monkey Game. I saw this and I had to pick it up and I had to uh, take a look at it on camera because it seems really fun and uh, really interesting. Um, you guys ever play with the, uh, they had the barrel of monkeys and you had to pull them out like a big chain? Um, this uses, uses a very similar but legally distinct monkeys, but rather than the classic take them out of a barrel uh, game that we're used to for barrel of monkeys, this is a different game with similar, similar pieces. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. There's the uh, front. Balance monkey, uh, two to four players, warning for the choking hazard. Side, side, got this really bright yellow like a uh, good guy doll for the box. And then you get uh, balance monkey assembling instructions. Uh, base, connects to the tree stem, connects to the branches, stack the branches in order of big to small, and then put the little tree top on. And then you get how to play. Uh, basically, uh, you take turns, you roll the die, well you divide up the monkeys by the players evenly. You, uh, you roll the die and whatever color the die lands on is the branch you have to stack the monkeys on and the color of the monkeys doesn't really matter so if you divide them up you can just do by number not color. But when you stack the monkeys on the tree uh, if any fall off, you keep those monkeys. If the whole tree falls over, you get all the monkeys. And your goal is to stack them all on the tree and have your opponent get all the monkeys. First person to zero monkeys wins. And there's a little uh, table of contents there to show what should be in the box and what you should be you should be getting in this box. So, 24 monkeys, the dice, and all the tree parts there color of contents may vary which uh, yeah for mine the uh, middle one is red I believe and the top one is yellow so yeah color of contents may vary uh, go ahead and open this up and let's take out the contents here we got uh, all the monkeys there we go is that everything sometimes things get caught on this they get stuck on the opening piece. Alright, cool. Let's put the box out of sight and let's take a look at the tree assembly. We have the base. We stick the tree in the base. You see how there's little grooves and then that has a plus sign. Stick the stems of the plus into the grooves and get your base. Then you go big branch, which is blue in my set, like the box. And there we go. Then red branch is actually my second biggest and I'm going to turn it at 45 to the last one and slide that in. On the box is yellow but mine is red. And then at the top you get the small branch yellow on my set and there's the tree topper. So the assembly goes pretty quick this won't fit back in the box unless you disassemble it, but it's relatively easy to disassemble as well. Um, or you can just leave it out if you want. But yeah, it's big and won't fit in the box unless you uh, unless you take it apart again. Whoa! <laughs> and you see it doesn't want to fall over, which is what the game's about. You also get this die, and this die was originally a blank white die. It had stickers on this little strip of paper which were really fun to get out. Uh, it took a lot of uh, scratching with your fingernails to get the stickers off and then you put them on the die. I'd put uh, the same color opposite each other to give a more even probability um, and then you really want to push on them to make sure they stick and don't come off. Now this die is really small if you lose it or if the stickers come off and you lose the stickers uh, you can just use a regular die if you have that and um, instead of yellow red and blue just say the top is one and two the middle is three and four and the bottom is five and six that's a good workaround if you lose the die or you lose uh, the stickers off the die but anyway um, let's take a look at this uh, let's do some gameplay let's tilt my camera down a bit 
and I'll try to roll the die where you can see it. Um, I'm just playing solo, so this is really more about how many monkeys can I stack. First one is red, so I'm going to take a monkey and put it on the red tier. Now, I do want to say I have a house rule. Um, you see these little branches? My house rule is you can't stick it behind the branch, because if you put it right here, that monkey is not falling off too easy, and you can stack pretty much all of them on without losing any, so I say stick it on a branch piece and not behind the branch, or, or the game's way too easy. Anyway, I rolled a red, so wow, it is not wanting to even stay. I'll put this here. Alright, let's roll to Kelly do I roll. I roll a blue. Since it's tilted this way, I'll put this on blue. Wow, it's shaking pretty good. Um, roll again yellow. A hey, good even distribution for the monkeys. Blue. All right, blue again. Uh, oh, wow. So that's what I wanted to show you guys, is you think you're safe, you're putting all your monkeys on, and then this thing can just whip around and knock all the monkeys off. And it is a really more uh, challenging game than you think, assuming you don't put them behind the branches. Um, but yeah, you go about, you stack your monkeys on there, and and look at that. You never know what's going to cause this to tip and turn, and you can get really good at balancing, and you can get really good at strategy, and then you realize you're overanalyzing a dollar monkey game. But, uh, yeah, this is a, a lot funner than I thought it would be. Um, haven't played this with multiple people yet. I have played uh, solo and just seeing how many monkeys I can get. And when I don't put them behind the branches, I, to be honest, um, don't get half of them, it seems like. Because you never know, you can be stacking. I'll try to evenly distribute left and right. Because you don't want to put them necessarily all on one branch, or they'll all slide off at once when they do slide off. But yeah, oh wow, look at that. Um, but yeah, it is pretty hard. That's one thing, when I saw the box and I saw it had 24 monkeys in it, I was like, what are the odds that this tree is going to get stuffed full of monkeys and, you know, you'll just be able to balance them all really easy. But that whipping, I did not foresee. It whips really hard and you never know when it's going to happen. I'm doing pretty good here. I don't have a good feeling about this next monkey. Wow, all of them came off. So I've never had it directly just fall over like that. I'd imagine it could. But it really spins the tree around and knocks some loose. So uh, a few custom rules. Like I said earlier, I always say don't put them behind the branches or it's way too easy. Uh, one thing you can also do is you can say unless they're all full, you have to put them on different uh, segments. You know, So each branch has three segments. You can make that a custom rule. It makes it a little harder, makes the monkeys fall off quicker. But this is actually a pretty hard game as is. So um, you can play a little bit with customization. So I'd say definitely no behind the branches. And also uh, you can do if you want to. Uh, but that's a custom rule where you don't put them on the same fork. But uh, let's save that for advanced players. How about that? Like I said, it's a custom idea of mine and uh, not an official rule. Uh, you can go back to the official rules and just as roll and put them on the branches. Uh, but anyway, a fun game. I just got this, so haven't played it with other people yet. And I can only imagine that it might be really hard. Like, if you only have two people, it might be really hard for someone to win because I'd imagine you'd both be tipping it over. But a fun game and that action of it whirling around and the way it bobbles a really good sense of life to this <laughs> this dollar game. So yeah, it's only a dollar. You have to disassemble it each time to get it back in the box. Um, but other than that, you know, it's just a really a fun game for only a dollar, you know. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I love games with fun 3D elements. I love fun gimmicks. I love that they brought the monkeys back for a new game. And it really is, I don't know, a fun little thing to fiddle around with. 
and it really is good at dropping my monkeys and shooting them back at me and making me feel like I don't know anything about how to balance monkeys on this weird little tree. Uh, but anyway, fun game. I'd, I'd actually really recommend it. Um, if you guys see this at the Dollar Tree and it sounds interesting to you, uh, Dollar Tree is where I got this bright yellow box. Uh, I'd recommend picking it up. It's a, a fun monkey game. All right. Um, I, I like to cover weird things like this every now and then, and I, I just saw it and I couldn't resist. I, I, I like weird stuff like this. But anyway, um, I do toys and games sometimes. Uh, but other than that, I do primarily horror movies on this channel. So if horror movies is something you're interested in, I recommend sticking around. Other than that, uh, to everyone who's watched so far, thank you for watching. To everyone who's liked and subscribed, uh, thank you for really helping the channel out. I'll have more videos uh, coming soon. Hopefully more weird things. Hopefully I can find more weird stuff to take a look at. Uh, but anyway, um, have a good day. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. I'll put a relevant playlist on the bottom. Probably a toys and games playlist. Anyway, I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Have a good day. Toys and games playlist at the bottom.